but, always exist when the problem are Clintons, probably for them still existing set of rules, another for everyone else. Trump promised us that if he won the presidency, he'd put Hillary Clinton behind bars. Some brushed it off as campaign rhetoric, others were dismayed that after his surprise electoral victory, Trump seemed to backtrack on his threats. The reality is that with such a massive corrupt political machine protecting her, it wasn't a simple matter of sending the FBI to put Hillary in handcuffs. These things take time and patience. But Trump did reopen the FBI investigation into Hillary's mishandling of classified information on her private email server. And the Department of Justice now believes it has sufficiently strong evidence to actually prosecute the presidential runner-up. Otherwise, why offer Hillary a plea bargain? You only do that when you've got strong enough evidence to convict someone, but are trying to avoid such a drastic outcome. According to reports, the deal requires Hillary to publicly admit to her crimes, and in return the DOJ will drop all investigations against her, including her shady dealings under the Clinton Foundation. Now, her taking the deal would almost certainly mean Hillary could never be president. But she'd essentially get off scot-free. The Clinton attorney cautioned that normally a plea is offered by a prosecutor only upon arraignment, and Hillary has not yet been charged with any crime.